is not an option. Uh, it, it is and it isn't. I'll talk to more about that later. Okay. Um, so, wow. This is basically like Evo-worthy finals, basically. Yeah. <laughs> is this, this top four. Top eight. Uh, I'm saying top four and the winners, oh, winners the top side, eight. Yeah. Winners side top eight. I mean, I I don't know about uh, Kugel, but Recruto's been playing Soul Calibur. So, he has come a long way in this first round. Sometimes you just gotta guess on those wake-up Yeah, picks. I mean, there's you no- You can other, react to them. When you're that close to them, though, like, you have to be on the defensive with that low of life. You can train yourself to react to them, but with all the things going on in tournament nerves, it just makes it so much more difficult to do. Yeah. I was getting fraudulent on my inputs when I was playing Nash fan. Nice option select. Ground throw. Next swing. That's a, that's a dangerous thing with Rakuto is that like you can be like, oh, he's letting me get in on him, and next thing you know, you lost half your life. Damon does a lot of damage. He has big boy damage. He's big. Oh, interesting. I was just about to say he wanted to make Quiggles come to him. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, if you, if you have an offensive hold, you better use it. I mean, true. It's a nice guess, thinking the high punch is coming. Get some damage, gets the option select right here. Still advantage if he misses. That back throw is so good, though. I've learned to train myself to watch for it whenever I play Quiggles, because he'll circle around to make sure that his back is to the like to the wall, and so then he'll go for that throw. You were commenting about that earlier, how he really uses the free step system. Oh Just yeah, advantage. more so than anybody else. Him and Hoodless, really, I think, use it. Ooh, that's gonna do some damage. Rikudo. He got the break. I mean, it, in most cases, it's never you broke Rikudo's throw, it's Rikudo let you get out of the throw. I don't know, I was breaking some, I felt pretty pro. Well, with the plus three advantage that Bamian gets, it depends. I know you broke his DDT. I guarantee you broke that one. <laughs> it's really weird with Quiggle because he's not doing these fast jabbing attacks. Just, just enough to frustrate you into doing something stupid. Yeah, like you see these like very slow ending the first rep match off a of hold. Um, What's going on? Uh, I don't know, maybe some volume. Can he not hear that well? He's asking if he's getting volume in the speaker. We might need a speaker check, headset check. He says he doesn't have any sound. He was doing good without it. I think he should go with it. Yeah, right? <laughs> Unless he blames those two rounds on it. <laughs> Even though it's broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> he used to saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broke, don't fix it. Yeah. We all good. Back in business. But yeah, so like I was saying, it was like Quiggle does these like slightly slower attacks for Christy, like 15, 16 frames. Yeah, slightly right? slower and Christy <laughs> is like an oxymoron. <laughs> but that's why it works for him. Like you're expecting him to do a jab and then he does these long animated attacks. Nice I mean, I think that was Recruiter hedging his bets. He's like, it's been more disadvantaged to take that throw. Yeah. Recruiter can be a very calculated player. I mean, that's, that's his style. It's like, he, he, he gauges those those uh, odds on his favor. Like, okay, which one's odd? How does this player play? Nice launch. What's the mix up? I always like to go for the, the ground throw off of the, the six PPK juggle. Yeah, he likes to press the advantage. Because as Bayman, he wants all the advantage he can. Sure. I mean, what character doesn't? And one thing I have to say for Quiggle is that he's showing a lot of respect for uh, Rakuto in this. I mean, he really uh, respects him highly. Rakuto's gotten him in the past, that's why. I, I, I mean, basically, if you see Quiggle pick Christy, you know that he's like, I'm, I'm bringing my A game on the table. With this healthy pop bonus we got here, I mean, I would take it seriously too. Twenty-one hundred dollars. That ain't bad. In fact, that's better than ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice pocket change. Rakuto coming off his Evo win. I guess he wanted to come back and, uh, and and keep that fun going. Yeah, seriously. Those juggles from Christie, I swear. 
Like, you just think that they're gonna end, and they don't. Neutral throw. Didn't throw break, but I guess they're, no, both, I, they're both high nerve. No, no wall bounce. Crack it That's what you were talking about that you have to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even if they tech up, you're still at advantage. Yeah. I guess when his back's to the wall, that, that's like the time to do it. Because they can't tech away from you. Maybe that's why he was looking to do it. There's also times where, as Bayman, when you get those ground throws, you have to wait that split second that they're about to land on the ground. Whether if you land that ground throw, you want to be in the position afterwards, where it might put your back to the wall in a wake-up situation. Just went straight for the uppercut. Plus one. Uh, those T-Rex arms. Good that Ooh, didn't tech up. So I'm pretty sure that's not guaranteed. Oh, just ripped. Didn't do a damaging throw, just a just back throw. That's all you He's need, back though. to the wall here. He's trying to get away. Oh, missed the juggle. Wonder if that had something to do with being a heavy. Ooh. Ah! Knocked him down to losers. That was a close match there. Yeah. It's always whenever you see those two. I mean, those are, those are champions right there. I mean, Quiggles is always in top eight for a reason. And anytime that Rakudos came in and, and played, he's top eight as well.